Srila Prabhupada, the beloved founder and charya of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, was born on September 1st, 1896 in Calcutta, India. His given name was Abhai Charan, which means one who was fearless, having taken shelter at the feet of the Lord. He lived his life with pure faith in the will of the Supreme Sanatana Godhead, Lord Shri Krishna. In 1992, at the age of 26, a Bible was introduced to Srila Bhakti Siddhartha Saraswati Kapoor, who was the leading preacher of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission. You were an educated man who speaks English. Why don't you pre preach the message of Lord Chaitanya throughout the whole world? Bhakti Siddhartha Saraswati said to Srila Prabhupada. He also gave Srila Prabhupada one more direction. If you ever get money, print books. With great determination, Prabhupada translated into English the first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, the most important of Indian spiritual classics. I will go to the Western world, he thought, give people the Srimad Bhagavatam, and teach them about service to Krishna, the real purpose in life. In this way, I will please my beloved Gurudev. On August 13th, 1965, at the age of 69, A.C. Bhakti Swami set off for America on a small cargo ship called the Jaladukta. He managed to get a free passage. His only possessions being a suitcase, an umbrella, a supply of cereal, a handful of rupees, and several boxes of Shumat Bhagavatam. After several days of his journey, Srila Prabhupada began to suffer greatly from the rough seas. Rain, seasickness, dizziness, headache, loss of appetite, vomiting. In two days, he, su he suffered successive heart attacks and was convinced a third would be fatal. On the night of the second attack, Prabhupada had a dream in which Lord Krishna appeared and took complete control of the boat. From then on, that fateful ocean voyage became the calmest crossing the ship's captain had ever known. Shiro Prabhupada concluded in his diary, if the Atlantic Ocean had shown its usual face, perhaps I would have died. But Lord Krishna had taken charge of the ship.
September 17, 1965, when he disembarked, he recalled, I do not know whether to turn right or left, yet with unflinching faith in the instructions of his spiritual master and the divine will of Lord Krishna, he persevered in his mission to spread Krishna consciousness in the Western countries. If you 
you can show your mercy, but then she can show mercy too. But if your mercy is lacking, then there's nothing we can do. So every day, we should reflect upon your rest of life and bow to serve the older, so that our body burns in mind. Oh, Grandpa, your mercy is your only treasure right now. To the sleeping of the seat, I vow.
more that we take a lifetime, many lifetimes, to express. Thank you, Shilaropa. Thank you. 